everybody from where the heck are we <clears throat> right out of Fayetteville North Carolina and I guess bike weeks in Florida next week which I used to go to for years and years I used to race in the races then I just went down and rode around and hung out and go watch the races and this year so enthralled to my own BS that I forgot all about it. But one of the cool things they do is they have free coffee at the rest areas in North Carolina, which is kind of cool. I've seen a lot of trucks and trailers and motorcycles and I don't think it's quite as big as it used to be. In fact, in the 90s, early 2000s, you know, they get a million people for bike week. I don't know what kind of numbers they draw now, but and you couldn't get a hotel room from from Georgia to Key West. Hey, the good old days. Anyways, we're on our way back to Florida, and this is a heavy load. I'll show you the scale ticket. I guess I'll put it up, uh, you know, right here, or maybe right there, or right here, or right there, somewhere right there. So we got to be real cautious on the fuel, because we don't want our front axle weight to go over 12,500 pounds we're good on this on the drives of the tractor and we're good on the tandems I think they're just at 32,000 each something like that so we can actually scale more weight but we're just just under 77,000 I don't know I'm not looking at the scale ticket right now but you're you're seeing it And yesterday, going through the hills of Maryland and Virginia, stop and go traffic, I mean, we were averaging 6.9 miles per gallon. But man, you got 77,000 pounds, 77,000 pounds stopped on a hill. Burns a little fuel, get, get that, uh, mum, uh, that weight rolling again so yeah, fuel economy not so great today we're averaging well it's down now it's right at eight it's at 7.9 right currently which gets us to 7.3 miles per gallon total for the trip and you know I'm going 70 we're not going slow we're cruising Slow down, little big guy. Police are everywhere. So we gotta go to Florida, handle some business. And then I think I'll, uh, Galavan around the country for a month. See where the wind blows. See where the loads are paying. And then uh, the match truck show is later this month as well. So I got a bunch of uh, my YouTube friends that are going. So I'm gonna, I'm signed up. I'm gonna make a valid attempt to showing up. Like I said, I got a lot going on. So, no promises. But, I would really like to be there. It's one of my favorite industry shows. Get to check out new, new products. A bunch of new companies I can tell them their business plan is crap. 
So, yeah. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Beautiful day. Well, unlike the last trip, where we were in way station hell, some kind of unofficial blitz going on. The Saturday morning cruise, they're all closed. Yeah, no way, closed. Love that kind. Alright, Sunday morning, oh, about 6 a.m., and this is the Florida Agricultural Checkpoint that I missed the last time. We'll get a red light. There it is. And we'll go in and see what they have to say. We're super heavy, right? So we're stopping at the uh, scale for sure if it's open. Open the window so we can talk to Buddy. You want to talk to us? You usually got to tell them what we have in the truck. She must be playing uh, Golf Clash or Candy Crush. Hello, Landstar. And that was that. So, about three miles down the road, it's a way station. See what happens there. All right, we're at the way station. I can see the green open sign from here. Let's see what happens. It'll drag us in on this early Sunday morning. Yeah. Open. Oh, green light. I don't get it. I come through here with a you know, 10,000 pound load. The truck weighs 43,000. They drag me in. Come through here at 77,000 pounds. Bypass. Looks like they, they got this guy. He went on the wrong lane. He's got clearly had the Western Express. Typical. He clearly had a green arrow pointing to go to the scale. And he took the bypass with a big red X. Not going to be a good day for you, buddy. I will right, we'll continue on our way to the AutoZone warehouse. AutoZone. Oh yeah, love AutoZone. Exit 354 on the right to US 27 South. Alright, there's Chewy. We've delivered there before. And 
the auto zone we're going to, I think, is right across the street. Right there. And there's a FedEx ground terminal. Thousand billboards right here. Well, not a thousand, but multiple. Take exit 354 on the right to US 27 South. Okay. Yeah, get this heavy load off us. In one quarter mile, keep left to US 27 South, then take the first left. Then I think we're gonna go get the big guy cleaned up. Left to US 27 South, then take the first left. Turn left at the traffic light, then take the first left. Gonna hit the truck wash. Maybe in Wildwood. Turn left at the traffic light. Will do. extra block of my arrow view. There we go. One and a quarter miles. Arrive at 3321 Northwest 35th Avenue Road on the right. All right. We're in Ocala, Florida once again. daylight savings time last night. We lost an hour, right? Spring ahead. Zone. In one quarter mile, arrive at 3321 Northwest 35th Avenue Road on the right. All right, we're here. Visitor and truck entrance. Or if they got a giant guard shack and the whole nine yards. Sure do. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> 